Super excited to share this one with you guys. This turned out to be an epic bourbon hunt. So we hit up this little store on our way to the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Uh, they, this store wanted 150 for Larceny Foolproof, so we decided to keep it moving. I think this Bowman Brothers is a Buffalo Trace distillate. So in retrospect, making that first stop was a huge mistake. Uh, we got there at 12:15, uh, and apparently at 9 a.m., Buffalo Trace put out about 500 Blantons, and we got there just in time to see the final ones fly off the shelves. Not that I was dying for a bottle of Blantons or anything, but you you know how it feels when uh, you feel like you missed out on something. So we learned that apparently there's a website that has a really good track record of predicting what Buffalo Trace is going to put out in the morning. So I recommend checking that website and getting there early, 9 a.m. We dropped by another small store on our way to Heaven Hill and wow, this place definitely takes the cake for the most expensive stuff I've ever seen. 200 bucks for old Ezra 7. So here I was trying to find a Larceny Barrel Proof or Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Turns out I was looking in the wrong place. However, I mean most of the stuff was just pretty standard that they have out in the gift shop. Um, but their um, their bar tasting area is pretty nice, but the pours are really expensive. Willet was pretty much the same, super beautiful distillery, uh, just the basic standard stuff in the gift shop and ultra expensive pours, so we just kept it moving. Lux Rose, pretty nice. I think their main parent company is MGP. If you like Woodford Double Oak, you gotta check this stuff out. I really like the setup at Bardstown. Uh, immediately pulled the trigger on Green River for 35 bucks. I heard it's amazing. have a nice little uh, lounge bar area with uh, much better prices than other distilleries. Stopped by the famous Liquor World. I've still been meaning to try this uh, Buckner's 13. This Blue Note Crossroads is a big hit. Uh, I'm gonna check it out and get it eventually. Mm -hmm. 
So the Kroger nearby is actually pretty good. It doesn't have the biggest selection, but the prices seem to be rock bottom. I would say that this uh, Russell Reserve uh, single barrel store pick is probably usually the best tasting bottle inside of a liquor store that's not behind glass. So what's with these stores marking up the toasted barrel bottles? I mean, I got one at home, it's okay, but maybe it's just because it's rare, it's in demand. Man, Russell's 13 is so good. It's Sometimes I think it's almost worth the actual secondary price. The Blind Pig is a nice place. It's kind of small, but a super nice chatty store owner. And you have these uh, $2 samples that are a really good deal. So this stuff is cool. Apparently you can come to their distillery. They'll teach you how to blend bourbon and you can take it back with you. So moving on, stop by Toddy's close by. It's probably one of the most expensive stores I've ever seen. A rare breed, $100. Uh, guess that's the first time for everything. But ironically, they did have Larceny Full Proof for a good price. I've been a year in this whiskey game and still haven't tried Peerless, but I should, definitely. Russell's 10 is probably a good Eagle Rare substitute in a pinch. I would highly recommend Weller Full Proof, but definitely not for that price. $180 for Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. That's like FU pricing. <laughs> E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof is definitely legit. Very sweet. No prices on a lot of these, but it's probably one of those you don't want to know situations. Why is it always small batch? I could never find full proof or sweet wheat, anything like that. This is my jam right here. Not the best price, but if you gotta have it. Interesting, never seen this stuff before.
this is very interesting uh, right here. Um, very suspicious of anything distilled in Ohio, but this looks promising. Flatboat is something else that caught my eye. I looked it up online, didn't see any glowing reviews, so I decided to pass. I was kind of hoping it would be something like uh, Benchmark Full Proof. So check out the sample bar. Really cool selection, really good prices, uh, much better than any kind of bar you'd find in uh, downtown Louisville. So basically while I was uh, checking out their little liquor cabinet, the store clerk um, proceeded to tell me that they just received the shipment of uh, Buffalo Trace Hancock Present Reserve Single Barrel Liquor Barn Store Picks. Got, uh, it was one per customer, got to $47 each, uh, both for MSRP. Uh, it was really lucky, it was there at the right time at the right place.